Hello guys. This is our channel Facts of Nature. So, today we are going to see about the types of rains. In meteorology, the various types of precipitation often include the character or phase of the precipitation which is falling to ground level. There are three distinct ways that precipitation can occur. Convective precipitation is generally more intense, and of shorter duration, than cyclonic precipitation. Orographic precipitation occurs when moist air is forced upwards over rising terrain, such as the mountain. Convectional rainfall. Convection occurs when the Earth's surface, especially within a conditionally unstable or moist atmosphere, becomes heated more than its surroundings and in turn leading to significant evaporation. Convective rain and light precipitation are the result of convective clouds, for example cumulonimbus. In the initial stages of this precipitation, it generally falls as showers with rapidly changing intensity. Convective precipitation falls over a certain area for a relatively short time, as convective clouds have limited vertical and horizontal extent. Most precipitation in the tropics appears to be convective. However, it has been suggested that stratiform and convective precipitation often both occur within the same complex of convection-generated cumulonimbus. Crop hal and hail indicate convection. When either are present at the surface, it is indicative that some form of precipitation is extant at the freezing level. A varying point in the atmosphere in which the temperature is zero degrees Celsius. In mid-latitude regions, convective precipitation is often associated with cold fronts whereas it is often found behind the front, occasionally initiating a squall line. Cyclonic rainfall. Frontal precipitation is the result of frontal systems surrounding extratropical cyclones or lows, which form when warm and tropical air meets cooler air. Frontal precipitation typically falls out of nimbostratus clouds. When masses of air with different densities meet, the less dense warmer air overrides the more dense colder air. The warmer air is forced to rise and, if conditions are right, creates an effect of saturation, causing precipitation. In turn, precipitation can enhance the temperature and dew point contrast along a frontal boundary. Passing weather fronts often result in sudden changes in environmental temperature, and in turn the humidity and pressure in the air at ground level. Warm fronts occur where warm air pushes out a previously extant cold air mass. The warm air overrides the cooler air and moves upward dud. Warm fronts are followed by extended periods of light rain and drizzle due to the fact that, after the warm air rises above the cooler air, it gradually cools due to the air's expansion while being lifted, which forms clouds and leads to precipitation. Orographic rainfall. Orographic or relief rainfall is caused when masses of air are forced up the side of elevated land formations, such as large mountains. The lift of the air up the side of the mountain results in adiabatic cooling, and ultimately condensation and precipitation. In mountainous parts of the world subjected to relatively consistent winds, a more moist climate usually prevails on the windward side of a mountain than on the leeward side. Moisture is removed by orographic lift, leaving drier air on the descending, leeward side where a rain shadow is observed. In Hawaii, Mount, on the island of Kauai, is notable for its extreme rainfall. It is the highest average annual rainfall on Earth, with 460 inches per year. Storm systems affect the region with heavy rains between October and March. Local climates vary considerably on each island due to their topography, divisible into windward and leeward regions based upon location relative to the higher mountains. Windward sides face the east to northeast trade winds and receive much more rainfall. Leeward sides are drier and sunnier, with less rain and less cloud cover. On the island of Oahu, clouds and often rain can usually be observed around the windward mountain peaks, while the southern parts of the island receive dramatically less rainfall throughout the year.